Are you still a student and studying but you feel like you need to earn to support your needs? Worry no more. Try Involve Asia Affiliate Marketing now. Does it require you to spend an amount or pay something? The answer is a big no. It is all free. All you need to do is to create an account. Further, the good thing is, you can monitor your account anywhere you want since it has mobile application already available. Want to earn while studying? Then try it. Link is here in my description box. Happy earning! Good day to each and everyone who are watching, especially my Econ learners. It's been quite a while since the last time I have created video lesson. Welcome to another learning journey with me. Today we will talk about an essential lesson relevant to writing a research paper. But before I start my discussion, if it's your first time here in my educational channel, I would certainly be glad to have you with me. So what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button like and share this video as well to anyone you know would benefit from it now let's get started the first and most important step in any research is to identify and delineate the research problem and when we talk about research problem remember that it is an area of concern a gap in the existing knowledge or a deviation in the norm or standard that points to the need for further understanding and investigation Although many problems turn out to have several solutions, meaning the means to close the gap or correct the deviation. Difficulties sometimes arise where such means are either not obvious or not immediately available. This then necessitates some research to reach a viable solution. This simply means that the researcher has to specifically explain his target problem to solve, to describe, or to further investigate. Moreover, questions leading to the finding of solution to specified problem are also of great significance. And if you will ask me in what part of the research do we include this, the answer is in chapter 1 under the topic I am about to discuss today which is the statement of the problem. Statement of the problem, famously known as SOP, is used in research work as a claim that outlines the problem addressed by a study. The statement of the problem briefly addresses the question, what is the goal of the research study? Through looking at this part of the research, the reader would determine the focus of the study, what it seeks to explain, describe, and investigate. Talking about goal, let's discuss this. What are the goals of a statement of the problem? Well, the ultimate goal of an SOP is to transform a generalized problem, which may refer to something that bothers you, or a perceived lack or something missing as you observed into a targeted, well-defined problem, one that can be resolved through focused research and careful decision-making. Again, SOP aims to make a generalized problem turned into a specific one. Writing a statement of the problem should help you clearly identify the purpose of the research study you will conduct. However, Bear in mind that a statement of the problem needs not to be long and elaborate. One page is more than enough for a good statement of the problem. Now here are the key characteristics of an SOP. A good research problem should have the following characteristics. 1. It should address a gap in knowledge. This gap is something that previous research and studies failed to see and to solve. 
Second, it should be significant enough to contribute to the existing body of research. Your target research problem must be something that will add to the understanding of others on certain issues and concerns. It only means that your study should be something that would give further understanding on that particular topic that you have chosen, which had existed already even before. The third one is, it should lead to further research. It has to be one that will help other researchers to go further in studying the problem and eventually come up with the best ways of solving it. And the fourth is, the problem should render itself to investigation through collection of data. The research problem you identified must be one where data collection, proof, evidences are readily available in abundance because it will be very impossible for you to solve a certain problem unless the problem that you have identified is something that would offer a lot of resources and a lot of data that you can use to prove your claim. The fifth one is, it should be of interest to the researcher and suit his skills, time, and resources. The research problem you target must be something that interests you and the many people you think would benefit from it. Because if you're not really interested to the topic or to the problem that you have identified, then I don't think that you would exert so much effort to find solutions in it. The sixth one is, the approach towards solving the problem should be ethical. This one is very important. Ethical. It means that solving the research problem should not be in ways that might offend anyone so you have to pay respect to the people that you would possibly be interfering with as you try to solve your research problem and those are just some of the characteristics of your SOP let's move on to what is the format for writing a statement of the problem a persuasive statement of problem is usually written in three parts we have part A which we consider as the ideal. Ideal because it describes a desired goal or situation and then it explains how things should be. Part B is the reality because it is going to focus on the condition that prevents the goal to be achieved. It explains how the current situation falls short of the goal or ideal. And part C is known as the consequences. Here, you identify the way you propose to improve the current situation and move it closer to the goal or ideal. Meaning, here you state the action that you are going to take so as to solve the research problem that you have identified. Now, let me show you examples of statements 1, 2, and 3 or statements uh, A, B, and C. For part 1, the ideal wherein you're going to state the situation and your goal. Practical Research 1 is a senior high school subject requirement that focuses on developing the learner's skills and capability to conduct qualitative research. Through this subject, students are taught the basics of crafting research paper, centers on solving classroom problems, school needs, and even community concerns affecting the education field. Moreover, their research literacy and skill will be enhanced through the subject. If you have noticed in this statement, the situation that we are dealing with is the practical research one as a requirement of the senior high school student. And the goal is for the students to enhance their research literacy and skill through this particular subject offered in the senior high school. Let's move on to the next one, the part B, which would of course center on the difficulties that might arise in achieving the goal. Remember that the goal in part one is to enhance the research and literacy and skill of the students under practical research one. Considering the value of research, it is a sad plight that most students look at it as a burden on their shoulder as they believed it consumed so much time to work on one. Adding that, 
it also sometimes would make them spend an amount of money. So according to this statement, it is sometimes hard to teach practical research one and to encourage students to conduct a research because they consider it as something which is very difficult because they have to spend so much time and effort in making one and that sometimes they would also spend an amount of money. So those are the difficulties mentioned under this statement. Now let's have the statement number three. To ensure that students develop research literacy and acquire the much-needed skills in writing a research paper, this study aims to provide teachers effective strategies to them. By utilizing the flipped classroom scaffolding technique, students will do away with their perceptions that research is a burden and a difficult task. So here, in the last statement or statement number three, you would see the solution suggested by the researcher in order to somehow motivate the students to love writing a research and for them to enhance their literacy or research literacy and skill and that is through the use of the flipped classroom scaffolding technique of the teachers who are teaching practical research one the target according to the statement is to come up with a teaching guide wherein teachers would be using effective strategies to encourage students to somehow write research paper. That would be the three parts of your SOP or statement of the problem. I hope I have imparted valuable learning to everyone who are watching this video lesson. That's it for today. I'll be with you again in the next video lesson. Thank you for watching and always remember that happiness is a choice. So let us all always choose to wear a happy heart.